Right, I've replaced the um, I've replaced the pipe on the um, on the compression tester. To be fair, I've had it since the late 1980s, so it's no real surprise. Um, I've just popped that back in the. Uh, it's just you just do them finger tight. You don't you don't tighten it you know tight. To be absolutely honest with you, I do have some fear here. Um, I do have to do a compression test on all all six cylinders, and I've been losing I've been losing coolant. Um, I'm not sure where it's going. Um, it doesn't it doesn't end up mixing with the oil. Um, if you've got a blown head gasket, it can mix with the oil, but you can have a blown head gasket between the bores, um, or it it, it, it blows. Um, into the water jacket but not into the oil um, and that could increase pressure into the into the cooling system now i'm dreading that being the outcome here i really i'm truly 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 dreading that that would be an utter catastrophe for me because i'll have to remove this cylinder head in the street so i'm praying here that when i do this compression test all are going to come back fairly even uh, at, at low revs i do have very very slight very slight misfire and i've had that since i bought the car and i put it down to these awful leads it's got an awful set of leads on i haven't changed the plugs the distributor cap's awful um it's it's old it's years old i've got all brand new and i haven't changed any of that and it also ticks over very slightly too slow we've also got a manifold leak due to a crack so there are numerous reasons why this car might misfire and i've been putting it down to all of those and praying that there isn't a cylinder head issue so let's just let's just try this one again i'm just going to turn the key and fingers crossed it'll come up into the green zone at least 10 bars of pressure let's see Right, there we go. Um, ten and a half bars. That's good. Very good. Oof. Just pause the camera while I change change to another cylinder. Okay, so I've, I've, I've moved the the, te the tester into cylinder number two. That was the one that had slight soot on the um, on the spark plugs. There's something else I need to discuss when you're doing compression tests. Um, I've, I've removed the um, I've removed the solenoid. Uh, not the solenoid the the relay the relay from the um, fuel injection so we can't get any fuel pumped in we yeah, can give a false reading if you've got fuel going in but you don't want fuel sitting in the cylinder head it will flood it um the other one is to take all of the spark plugs out of every um let me just zoom out um out of every cylinder you have to take all the spark plugs out because that can give a false reading um if for instance say one cylinder has, has blown between the bores um, and you only undo the one spark plug, um, test that cylinder with all the other five in. You'll, what happens is, obviously, if, it, if, it, if, it, if the gasket blows between two cylinders across, um, you can be testing this cylinder and pressure from this one goes across the crack and into that into that cylinder it gives a false reading on on the cylinder so now if all the spark plugs are out that can't possibly happen because the pressure just shoots out of the i made that mistake on a rover v8 engine some years ago and i was i was i was convinced that the cylinder the, the, the head gasket was fine but it wasn't i would i'd not taken all the plugs out and it was given a false reading it was because the plug was in the pressure was leaking from one cylinder into another so anyway let's just um, let's just do it turn the key and uh, zoom in hopefully we'll be up about 10.5 bars again the pipe is swelling under the pressure it's not the correct type of pipe it's fuel pipe and it can't take the sort of pressure that's been put in it so that's it's really swelling but it, it might burst but hey let's uh, let's just turn the key okay where are we? Oh look! Uh, oh dear! Now that one is down. Shit! That is down. Uh, it's only reading seven, so there is an issue there. Okay, that's not good. This is a cold test, so um, I'll try it again hot. And I'm just going to pause the camera and change to number three. All right, I've got it plugged into number three. Let's see where it reads. Okay. 10.5, very good. Let's just pause the camera again.
Okay, we screwed into number five, so let's just test that one. Okay. Oh, where is it? It reached just over ten. That's pretty good. All right. Pause again. Okay, let's just test number five. There we go. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, yep, yeah, ten point five again. Okay, pause it again. Okay, this is the uh, sixth and final cylinder. I'm just going to crank the engine. Let's see what happens. Okay. Where's the thing gone? Just turn it round. Have a look. Yeah, we're on just just over ten bars there. That's good. Oh. Okay. But there's definitely an issue with number two. So I'm going to go back to number two and do a second test. Right, so we just do a second test on number number two. Everything else came back between 10 and 10.5 bars, which is about right. But this one was very low last time. It was only about seven. So let's just have another look. Just over seven, just over seven, not very good. Okay, now then. Okay, let's just pause that for a sec again. Right, so I'm going to do a wet test on number two. I've got some <clears throat> automatic transmission fluid in this pipe. I'm just going to dribble that straight into the bore. pulling it out of the um, I'm pulling it out of the uh, the steering let me just um, let me just pop the tester back in come on tighten this up now if there's a problem with the piston rings we will see this increase the pressure will increase if not We've got a problem with either the valve seating or, God forbid, there is a, there is a slight failure in the, uh, in the head gasket. So let's see if this, I'm praying this incre increases actually. Okay, you think that will help? Okay, increase slightly. Oh no, it's sinking again. It went up to eight and it's sinking back. Ah, okay, I need to do some real thinking now. Okay, let me just, uh, yeah, I'll turn this off. I need to think carefully. <laughs> 